Rajith Warren Morthy uh, from the Space Marketplace. Welcome to the Australia in Space TV and here at the World Police Summit uh, in Dubai. Thanks very much. It's great to see you uh, here in person. No, thank you so much for you know having me here. It's a, it's a great event and it's great to see we on live here. Well, we last crossed paths in Singapore, yep. uh, and so we're sort of developing up our relationship here. Maybe explain uh, the space marketplace and some of the things that you're doing. Yeah, uh, for and, sure. Uh, then also within the region in Indo-Pacific. No, right. So what 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 is basically I'm trying to build is a space ecosystem itself. So I'm currently involved in four different verticals. The first one is a research vertical, where we work with space agencies in the Middle East, in Southeast Asia and also the European Union. And what we're trying to do there is, how do you build a new space economic policy? So it's purely on the research. Uh, the entity that I'm looking at there is a chart think tank. I'm the managing director and the chair of space sector. Any ha anything having to do with space policy research will sit in that. Then the second pillar I'm leading is the analytics slash advisory. Because we work very closely with the space agency, we also look after the uh, incubator and accelerator program. The goal there is, to put it very simply, we want to make sure every startup that gets a grant doesn't become over reliant on grant. Yep. And what we also do, which is very important, and also the work you know, Space and Earth is leading, bringing non-space sector into space itself. How do we bring space capabilities without changing your core business? Yep. The third pillar is academic, uh, where I serve as a guest faculty. Well, I'm a global professor of strategy and space economy. I build space economy modules in the region. Very recently, I became a guest faculty at ISC International Space University. And my work in that pillar is to make sure everyone has access to the space economy concept. It doesn't have to be technical, but everyone needs to know what is Earth observation. Yep. Even though you're not into space. So you know Earth observation exists. You know Leo economy exists. So the best analogy there, Chris, is every business school has an AI course. We should have a space economy one course, which is what I'm trying to build in the third pillar. The last pillar, which is the most important one, where you addressed the capital pillar. I invest in my own um, in certain logos. I also help to raise capital for some of the upstream companies in the region. We are trying to build our uh, angel syndicate based space fund um, backed by the government. So that's a lot of work. So research, academic, analytics and capital. Very good. Well that brings you to the World Police Summit here. Uh, you've given a talk today uh, on the space economy right. uh, and the sort of the capabilities with Earth, Earth observation. I suppose maybe that's why we're here at the World Police Summit. There's a SAT Expo on next door as right. well. Um, what, what was your focus on today and maybe how, did it, how does it resonate uh, when you start talking about space uh, with law enforcement? No, I think that's quite a good call out because the World Police Summit wanted to understand within their domain, without being very intrusive, what are the other technology that is already existing but we have no idea. So the terminology changes but the concept remains the same. Here we're looking a lot on geospatial analysis capability. But what the world enforcement tends to understand, which is why they called me here, is to understand that right now we hear about satellite technology, we hear about all the sensors. What does it do for us? So what I was trying to show a picture is all the sensors, SAR, hyperscale, and then multispectral, and then LIDAR, and even the, uh, what do you call that, the IR, they can be fine-tuned for a specific reason to look at the law enforcement activity. One of the such example was the anti-narcotics. When it comes to how do you find anti-narcotics team being built up over, over the years. Yeah. So in hyperspectral, you can find chemical level in different bandwidth. You can also target that. Then the conversation became versus drone versus satellite, which what I was trying to show yeah. them. There's a idea that, okay, drones are the one we're using and it's unmanned. It's the one we are very close to. Satellite seems expensive. Actually, the other way around. Yeah. In the long run, grand up scheme, satellite imagery are forty dollars to three dollars, and that's for commercial. You can get even a detailed one for forty dollars. Drones are much more costly in the sense to have the permission, the people running it, the battery usage, and most importantly, the noise. Yeah. So then the question I was trying to paint: Am I saying satellite is better than drone? No, we're saying we need both. So imagine you have a satellite pass being taking over the passes of the Earth observation of the, in the, the plan, and then you put this in a system called a digital twin. So historically, you're seeing why suddenly there's a track being built. Why suddenly there's a chemical fluctuation in this part of the jungle where no one even existing. So something to look out for. That cues automatically the drone yep. to go and check. So we're trying to build an integration framework. So that's what I was trying to show them. The next law enforcement is about digital twin capability, 
supported by satellite technology. Well, I suppose that comes to having proof of concepts uh, there. Are you seeing that being done? Because again, in Australia, particularly around sort of bushfire monitoring, mm -hmm. that, that is where they are heading to, where right. you're monitoring uh, a, a large uh, area, mm -hmm. but on detection of smoke and the like, which is automatic, right. uh, a drone is launched. Are you seeing br uh, proof of concepts uh, around? There's one um, initial thoughts going on, but it's an extension of what we're talking about. The Singapore Marine Time Authority is building their own digital twin capability using two Leo sets. And what it does for them is it allows them to monitor vessels for search and rescue, but also look at enforcement of border control and, and narcotics and those kind of stuff. They found out that the best way to get this right is to have a system that can talk to all of, or collect all the data, our internal data, AI data, geospatial data, and then put in a one virtual world yeah. that you and I can walk in and we can understand for training reason, this is exactly what the sea looks like. And then we execute like a game, but in reality. Yeah. That is the, I feel the furthest stretch the concept has been, and now we are trying to question, if we can do the digital twin for a marine time authority, we can do it for law enforcement. Yeah. Because we just have to flip the board and then use the existing, a lot of time we're thinking, oh, we have to build from scratch. No, the system is just an output. The, the, the input is already with us. I think we just need to put it in a nice system and I think good timing because we do have AI processing. Yep. So the idea is to build custom capability AI ML network that kind of takes in sensors of traffic data, uh, existing police data, profiling and then monitor social media chats, trigger alerts. Then you have a central console that automatically can do some of the activities we just spoke. Well, I think the capability is there. It's a matter, as you say, putting it all together uh, with the right outputs. Right. Uh, and also it's, it's so, Broad, you need mm. to have that uh, that mission focus, right. so you you get the right data at the right time. Right. But Raj, uh, you're definitely one to watch. Uh, we'll continue to work with you, uh, and we'll see more this year. Uh, I know that you're working on some other projects uh, that might be sort of announced uh, mid-year, right. and uh, we'll also hope to see you in Australia later in the year as well. If not, we'll see you in Malaysia or Singapore. Right, Wes. Thank you so much for having me, and a pleasure. Looking forward to talk soon. Enjoy the rest of the World Police Summit. We'll do. Cheers. Thank you.